Dr. Jeff, Melody, and Hector are heading to Keensburg on the eastern plains of Colorado to the Wild Animal Sanctuary, a refuge for hundreds of abused and unwanted animals. You know, too many people get these kind of exotic animals and try to keep as pets and do not make good pets. Yeah, well, a lot of the animals they take in from like circuses, circuses and all over the world. Side shows, yeah. Uh, last year, Dr. Nichols and Hector are out here working on some lions. Ooh, man. Uh, I think I was having knee surgery at the same time. Yeah. Mel and I started as technicians uh, a long time ago, and she has plenty of experience, so she'll be a lot of help here. The team is volunteering their time to help two recent arrivals. Hi. <laughs> that guy's huge. And their first patient Massive. is a 400-pound tiger. Hi. Hey, how's it Good going? Good morning. How are you? Dr. Jeff, nice to meet you. So how many tigers you got then? We have about 55 right now. Holy cow. Where In total, we have 428 animals on the property. And almost all of those came out of, I assume, horrible conditions. Correct. For the most part. Unfortunately, yeah. yeah. This is the kind of sanctuaries I like. Most of these animals out here have stories, and they're not usually good stories. But they end up here, and it's a huge place, over 700 acres. They have lots of stimulation, and they get to live out their life here. And this is Cucho. Yeah. Um, so he is our patient today. He does have a prior back injury, so we just want to be really cautious. We're where did really he come sure. from? Uh, he came from a place in Pachuca, Mexico, where they had gotten him from private ownership. I can't imagine how he walks every day with the injuries on his back, but Cucho has just a beaming personality. Life can knock him down, and he'd be the type of tiger that gets back up with a great attitude and keeps going. It's OK, buddy. So unfortunately, he has some ingrown nails that we're going to be working on today. It's a big cat. Uh, have you guys trimmed his nails before or no? We haven't. We just got him. This is actually his first immobilization with us. Oh, OK. Yeah. I haven't worked on a tiger before, but uh, just a big cat. Really big cat. He's huge. The tiger was fairly new here, so just want to kind of a quick physical look at its teeth and take some blood. I think it has unusually long claws, which happens a lot in captivity. Hold his head up. Yeah, I was looking, I was looking at his ears, and he looked pretty good. I would not want to pull that canine. Pretty nice teeth. Yeah. Okay, you want to hold that up? Holy cow. Yeah, huh? Wow. Look at this. This actually grown into the pad. Yes. You see that? So this pad split. Wow. He's standing on that. That's a huge nail. Uh, Look at this. Oh, it just oh. came out. So that much was embedded into his pad. Cucho had a back injury, and because of that, probably hasn't been able to claw and you know do normal behavior for a cat and keep the, uh, the, the claws trimmed down. That's pretty good. Right. They knew his claws were an issue, uh, but until you knock them out and get in there, you know you just don't know how bad it is. They're super thick, huh? Yeah. It's kind of a fun day to have a tiger in your hand. Yeah. yeah. That's good. That's it. The size of the paw, and not just the size of the paw, but the muscle of the forearm. I mean, it's just amazing. You know, I, I can't imagine that thing swiping you, you know, like your head would fall off. And then those claws, the thickness of them, the sharpness of them. Is that saline? Yep. Oh, yeah. The team flushes the wounds in Cucho's paws and gives him antibiotics, vitamins, and a drug to reverse the anesthesia. Now I can say that I've given Shots to a tiger. How many people can say that? Oh, yeah. That has to feel better. I'm sure. He was in someone's house at one point. It's insane, but he'll live out his life here, and he's going to be happy here. I think the difference in how it will feel for him walking around is, will be a million percent better. I'm sure he will be super, super happy when he wakes up. With Cucho on the road to recovery, on to Joker, our Onto little Joker. fox. Cool, cool. Dr. Jeff meets one of the sanctuary's smaller residents. Oh my god, he's adorable. Pretty darn cute. Originally, he's from Nebraska. Good. Somebody had him in their house. It was confiscated from the house for, by animal control. Five-month-old Arctic fox Joker needs to be neutered. We neuter everybody here. We don't want anybody breeding. Sure, yeah. I'll go anywhere and neuter about anything. Joker, just don't let him out. But first, Hector and Melody have to catch and sedate him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, hi. Cutie patootie. 
So they're a canine, but they act like a cat. They just really do pounce and move around, and it's just cool to watch them. You got them good enough? They certainly don't need babies here, so we're going to neuter him. It's much easier to neuter the male than it is to fix the female. This is the first fox I will have fixed, so it's one more to check off the bucket list. I'm just making an incision to the skin, getting this testicle out. And neutering a fox is just like neutering a dog. The exact same procedure. And we could probably just glue this at this point, it'd be fine. You don't want any sutures sticking out. You want nothing that the animal can lick or feel. So you put glue over top to give it a good seal so it should not worry about infection or anything like that. First fox done. Yep. I'm just going to trim his nails. And they got really small ears. And the foxes down the desert are really big ears. It's called Ellen's Rule. So as you go north, extremities get smaller because yep. it's cold. Right. As you go okay. south, they extremities get bigger. Get bigger, bigger for yeah. That was fun. Thank you yeah, very much for having so us much out for here. Coming. Hopefully, thank we can do something again. People giving of their time is one of the most valuable things to us. So, for Dr. Jeff and Melody and Hector to come out and do all of this for free for the animals is a great, great thing for the sanctuary.